Officials on the ground saying the weather conditions are slightly improving, but the images in the air and on the ground captured the widespread devastation. What we saw looked like an area that had been bombed and burned by in a war zone. It was unbelievable. The fires that tore across Maui, especially Lahaina, leaving dozens dead and nearly 300 structures destroyed. One man we spoke with says he believes his home is lost and described to us his terrifying escape. It was a huge black smoke back then. And I, I, it's indescribable. It's like, an, it's like they say apocalyptic. Thousands trying to flee the fires left stranded at the airport, being told it might be days before they can leave. The lucky passengers who managed to make it back home describing the desperate conditions they just left in Maui and how they are just thankful to now be safe. Uh, we had power out for about 36 hours at the resort we're at. Uh, hurricane winds, it was bad. We went for a walk. We kind of turned the corner and Lahaina was just on fire. Back on the island, the area most severely impacted, the historic town of Lahaina, once the capital of the Hawaiian Kingdom and home to 12,000 people, now utterly destroyed. Driving through the town, charred trees, burned out cars, every structure reduced to rubble. The entire seafront decimated. Even the ocean didn't deter the flames. This ferry burned out. Evacuation efforts are difficult. You can see this is the one way in and out as people are waiting desperately. Dozens of cars lined up waiting to see if they can check on their homes and neighbors. Melissa Don, ABC News, Maui.